from curses that have killed almost all of an entire family to other family curses placed out of revenge. We take a look at six families with extremely creepy curses. Number 6. The Habsburg Curse The Habsburgs were, at one time, one of Europe's most powerful and persuasive families. Like something out of an Edgar Allan Poe story, the curse that has haunted their family came from birds, specifically ravens. Apparently, an ancestor of theirs had once butchered all the ravens in the home. Shortly before the demise of any of the relatives, a supernatural raven would show up. This was allegedly true at Marie Antoinette's execution. Interestingly, this is not the only curse that harassed the Habsburgs. Another was put in place by Countess Carol Yee, specifically against Francis Joseph, who was not only a Habsburg, but also a leader of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Joseph, then 18, had his own child executed before joining a failed Hungarian rebellion. This prompted the curse, and from that point on, his rule was plagued with several tragedies. Number 5. The Kennedy Curse Unfortunate events could happen to any family, but the Kennedy Curse alludes to the continual misfortune that this particular family has had to endure. Several notable Kennedys died young. Brothers John F. Kennedy and Robert F. Kennedy were both killed while in office, and a plane accident in 1999 took the life of John F. Kennedy Jr. There are several lesser-known events that add to the drama of the Kennedy curse. John F. Kennedy's sister Rosemary, for example, was institutionalized because of a pointless lobotomy. Edward Kennedy Jr. had his leg amputated at age 12. Joseph Kennedy was slaughtered in World War II. And Michael Kennedy lost his life in a skiing accident. Number 4. The Onassis Family Curse Some Greeks believe that the Kennedy curse was actually transferred from the Kennedys to the Onassis family. John F. Kennedy's widow, Jackie Kennedy, married a Greek shipping tycoon named Aristotle Onassis in 1968. The Onassis family blames the death of Aristotle's only son, Alexander, on this curse. His passing in a plane crash in 1973 was just the first of several incidents for the rest of the Onassis family. The first wife of Aristotle Onassis killed herself a year after her son's death. A year after that, Aristotle himself got sick and died. In 1988, a heart attack due to depression also caused the death of Alexander's sister Christina. Number 3. The Von Erich Curse In the 1980s, the Von Erichs and their patriarch Fritz were known as the Kennedys of the wrestling world. The first misfortune of this family was when six-year-old Jack Jr., the eldest of the six male kids, was playing in a puddle of wet snow near their home when he was accidentally shocked and drowned. Like a line of dominoes, several other members of the family fell victim to the Von Erich curse. Fritz's third child, David, contracted a serious case of stomach influenza, which caused him to pass. Chris, Michael, and Carrie all committed suicide by overdosing on drugs. It was only Fritz's second child, Kevin, who survived the Von Erich curse. He wrestled until 1993 when he finally resigned. Number 2. The Guinness Family Curse Renowned brewers of the Guinness beer brand and one of Ireland's most accomplished clans have experienced several misfortunes throughout history. The patriarch, Arthur Guinness, originator of the brewery, had 21 kids, 10 of which were lost to various reasons. After Arthur's death, several individuals in the family became poor, or heavy drinkers, or just crazy. It wasn't until World War II that people began to throw around the term the Guinness Curse. One prominent family member was killed by Jewish terrorists, and another in a fight just before the war finished. Freak accidents, car crashes, and suicides strengthened belief in the superstition of the Guinness Family Curse. Number 1. The Coburg Kohari Curse it is well known that inbreeding among the royal families of Europe was eventually responsible for hereditary diseases like hemophilia. At the time, one of these families blamed this curse on a disgruntled monk. According to legend, the monk was a Kohari who was left out of the will and received no inheritance because he fell in love with one of his own relatives, named Antoinette Kohari, who subsequently married Ferdinand Coburg instead. 
Impressed by this new union, the bride's father left all their wealth to the newlyweds. The monk, infuriated, placed a curse on them and all their descendants. If you like this video, why not hit that like button? And remember to hit the subscribe button for more videos every two days.